Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I got a delivery. I got some clamp-on pallet forks that I'm going to use on my 1997 John Deere 755. I've done one other video with this tractor in it. Uh, it's not, might be released, it may not. I don't know which one I'm going to do first, either the pallet forks or the other job, which I'm not giving you, I'm not going to give you a sneak preview. I'm going to just, literally, just got these today, like, I don't know, an hour and a half ago. And I'm ready to unbox them and test fit them on the tractor. Here's the intro. Okay, so we've got these pallet forks on the rack here so I can work on them. Let's see what's in the box. Got these from Amazon. They're about 270 Canadian-ish. I got ones that are actually a little, they're rated a little high for my tractor, but I wanted the length. I don't really need to lift anything heavy, but I'd like to be able to lift larger things, longer things. So, oh geez, they're big. Here we go. So that and that. Well, looks pretty straightforward. They're not packaged too bad. There was a little bit of damage on the outside of the box. A little bit of damage on the outside of the box where this adjusting handle had poked through, but it's there. There, here they are. Cut the packing tape stuff off. I don't want to lift them. Poor FedEx guy carried him down the driveway by himself. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. Let's loosen this adjusting screw. Should be enough, I would think. Slide them on the bucket. And tighten the adjusting screw. walks all over the place there we go now I'm probably gonna get a short pipe so I can put over here to get these tight <laughs> yeah get tight there we go <laughs> well they're long so you see the flex in the bucket there the bottom flexes down what I what I'm going to do these little slots here are for chains so I do have some weld on chain hooks that I'm going to weld on the top of the bucket here. And then I'll be able to put a, a, a load binder across here and tighten that up and it'll share the load from the top and the bottom of the bucket. So well, that's pretty straightforward. I didn't opt for the set that has a stabilizer bar in here. If I find out that I need to, I can make it. The difference in price was like a hundred bucks. So I can make one for a lot less than a hundred dollars. So that's what I will do. Let's get this cart moved back a little bit and get the other fork on there. Yeah. There. It's on the ground. Cart tipped. Gee, get. Come over here. They're not that heavy individually. Ish. They do tend to walk when you tighten them up, though. Like I said, I'll get a bar or a hammer or something on there and tighten them up. Yeah, that's not too bad. Hmm. So those should be. Well, I'm not going to measure them, but I, I ordered the 43 inch, 42.9 inch ones. That should be all right. Does flex the bottom of the bucket a little bit. That's not a huge deal once I get it tied in. Like I said, I'm not lifting heavy things. I'm just 
it makes it a little more utilitarian. I'll be able to lift things easier, stack lumber up there, do whatever I got to do with it, move brush or whatever. If I get it tied up there, right, I might even be able to lift and move lawn tractors around with it. Anyway, so yeah, that's uh, there. Those are my Amazon pallet forks. They're pretty straightforward. It's uh, yeah, it doesn't need to be a half hour video. All right, so I've got these. So that's for a 5 16 chain. They mount on top of something, and then you weld both sides of it. See, there's a bevel. I don't know if you can see. They're beveled. You get a nice big heavy weld in there. So I'm going to mount one of those. There's going to be a few up here. I think I got six of them. So I'm going to put one here. That way I can just hang a chain across. Hook it in here. Chain across here. Small load binder in the middle. And that'll give the uh, lower part of the bucket a little bit of support from the top part of the bucket. I think I paid, I don't know, 16 bucks for six of these. That'll work. All right. Well, thanks for joining me in this short one, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you do subscribe, whoa. If you do subscribe, click, click that bell icon. It'll let you know when I upload new stuff. Till the next one, take care.